Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Rackers in, this is episode 8 of my Burton Albion career mode, thank you so much for coming and checking this out, yes the face cam is back, I remembered to hit the record button this time, it's just on the screen now I'm showing you the training setup that I've got going in the minute, I've got White as I showed you in the last episode, I brought him into the first team and I'm going to train him up and hopefully he'll be our number one goalkeeper, he's 6 foot 5 so he's going to be a goalkeeper, Azevedo being trained on advanced free kicks and beat your man and I'm also going to keep Palmer who's 24 I believe, uh, midfielder, he's got the green tick, just promising player, so he should be quite good. Gonna train him up on the passing, try and get him into the 70s. The two games we've got in, sorry, I don't mean to swear, the two games we've got in this episode are Wolves and Fulham. Only a couple of days away, so we're gonna be using a first team and a reserve team. We've had a bit of a break, as you can see from this. So the first team will be going out against Wolves, and then the reserve ish side will be going up against Fulham. And look at that, we beat Middlesbrough in the EFL Cup, and then we get Man City in the next round. Yeah, okay, we're just never meant to progress too far, but we'll see what we do. That's gonna be in next episode. So, first up, the lineup of the Wolves game. For this game against Wolves, we've got Sodell, Watt, Dai, and Nene, Irving, Atkins, Delaney, Turner, Massinho, and Brunel across the back with McLaughlin in goal. If you didn't know, I can't remember whether I put it in the edit last episode, but McCory, unfortunately, is out for two months with a knee injury. So, we're gonna have to deal with this 55 rated Delaney, who doesn't look that bad on base stats. You know, stamina and strength are good for left back, but everything else is red or ambers, and this happened just after the transfer window, so, you know, that's just bad timing. Nene! Brunel! Slides it in, Massinho. What's, what's the defender doing here, Massinho? <laughs> John Massinho goes on a mad run, just goes all the way up front, don't really know why, I know it's because of the side tackle beginning, gets himself with a nosebleed section into the box, that's a brilliant finish from the centre back, look at his composure right here, just outside the penalty spot and it's 1-0 against Wolves, big John Massinho, we've got over down here for Dyer, can he whip the ball in, handball, that's the... Of all the no bullshit handballs in this FIFA, and then yeah, that the doesn't get yeah. given. We've got a replay well, of Massinho's goal. It just makes it look so much better from that angle. But that should have been handball. Find Sordell. Can he find the return ball? He can. Irving's in across the keeper. 2-0. 23 minutes in. Please don't do a Wednesday on me. Please don't let Wolves just go super sane in the second half. But 2-0. And I've just done that the wrong way around. The opposition can Irving, them. looking for Sordell. Oh, Sordell's breaking free, every touch, can he beat the keeper? He can, 3-0! 26 minutes, two goals in three minutes! The kickoff glitch doesn't work for Wolves, works for Burton Albion, 3-0. I thought I'd overdone it with this touch. With, with this touch here, I thought I'd overdone it, thought the keeper was going to come out, Sordell slides, Lonergan, no chance, 3-0! What? What gets a bit of space into the box? What? It's four! What he scores on his debut! How on earth have we been able to just dismantle Wolves this easily? A bit of a domination there, don't you think? They've had one shot on one shot on goal. We've had five on target and scored with four of them in 65% possession. Danger to the opposition now. They're here. Wallace. My defenders are running away from it. What the hell? The Lovely shot. turn from... I don't know what happened here, but they need a goal, don't, don't they? do this on me now, Burton. Cross comes in now. Flips it in, Williamson. And so the hell... And what the shit? <laughs> Why didn't that go in? Atkins looking for... Oh, Woody was nearly through, but it's full time. 4-0 winners against Wolves. That was brilliant. Like you see, Wolves had one shot in the first half, and then he ended up with five and two on target. We still dominated possession. Man of the match is going to be Jackson Irving. I can agree with that. Nene gets an 8.4. What? 8.6. Sordell, 9.5. Honorable mention to Big John as well with a 9.1. Leading the team as the captain. Great result. We haven't had to change too many players in regards to fitness for this away trip to Fulham. Wood and Watt up top down, but Nene, Palmer and Azevedo across the middle. Delaney, McFasden, Massinho, Brayford at the back. McLaughlin still in goal. We've got the strength on the bench. Let's hopefully can have two wins in this episode. Don't bring him down, Big John. Bloody hell, Martin, fit three minutes in. Fulham have already had a shot on goal. McLaughlin low down with a good save. Corner now. Kenny whips it in. Sigurdsson, three minutes, 49 seconds. And Fulham are leading. Near post corner. We didn't defend it. Nene. Tries to slip it through for Delaney. Oh, Kenny with a good tackle. Johansson. Oh, we're going to have to slip it to attacking now. Parker. Martin. He's got round it outside. What the hell? My defence is just not good. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. Words fail me. It didn't let me change to the right man. 
Well, I'm getting screwed over here. They changed me to Messina when I wanted to be my le well, flipping left back. And then just leaves Martin too much space. I'm not taking anything away from his finish. But there's something not right about this game. Frustrated. I'm frustrated. Hugo. Dinks it in. Can we get it? We're on that. What? With the head. A good save from Button. Get a shot on target. Yay! <laughs> Too much time on the ball. We can't let him have any time on the ball this late in the game. Oh, for crying out loud, we've just left ourselves wide open at the back. No, 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 no. Cabano. No. McLaughlin, please save it. Oh, for... How? How? Smith has won that header. I am so frustrated with that. We had an absolutely amazing performance against Wolves and we've been terrible, absolutely terrible here against Fulham. We managed three shots, I don't know how. But yeah, we just were never in that game. Who was our best player? Messino, seven. I see Azevedo on the bench with 7.2. What? Tony Watt, 7.3. But that was bad. That was bad. So we're going to finish off the episode by having a look at the squad rating. Irving Sordell, both with 8.0. So if you want to change any of their appearances, like boots, kits, anything like that, leave it in the comments down below and I will action that next episode. Or no, sorry, not next episode, next week. And you can get it seen that and I'll put your comment down there as well. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Burton Albion Career Mode. I've been Rackers. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you're brand new around here. And I'll see you on the next one. Try.